Praise the Lord. God bless you. I'm Pastor Gemma Wenger, and you're watching Beauty for Ashes, and we are in the river of life, and the Lord just wants to lift those burdens. I just feel there are so many people, hallelujah, that are listening. They've been bogged down, just weights on their shoulders. They've been carrying sacks of potatoes around with them. And the Lord just wants to release you from that burden. He just wants to set you free and deliver you, knowing that he's going to fight the battle for you. He's going to take care of it. And the Lord kept speaking to me. Praise God. Be anxious for nothing. Be careful for nothing but in all things with prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God and we're gonna come before the Lord right now and we're gonna lift up those needs we're gonna lift up those family members we're gonna lift up that need for healing or deliverance or salvation hallelujah or open doors or increase in your ministry increase in your finances hallelujah Free freedom from addiction. Let's pray right now. God, we just thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, for your anointing. We thank you, Father God, that, hallelujah, your anointing is breaking every yoke. In the name of Jesus, be free from depression. Be free from oppression. Be free from every spirit of darkness in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. And we are stepping out in faith. We are believing. We know, God, you're going to move those mountains in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father God, for your Holy Spirit. Just fill us, Father God, with the Holy Spirit. He is our comforter. He is our helper. He is our teacher. Oh, yes, Lord, we just want to praise you and worship you. As we praise and as we worship, praise God. God just wants to touch you with his spirit. We're so blessed today to have Tim Tucker. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Tim. Thank you so much for being with us. It's just such an honor that you would come. What has God put on your heart? I'll just, you know, what he's put on my heart is that there's a lot of people out there that need healing right now. A lot, of, a lot of sick, sick people. And so I just want to start out. So I just want to sing this song a cappello and just let the Lord just minister to you by his spirit. You. Um, it goes like this. What a healing Jesus I've found in you. You restore, refresh, and renew. You're my healing Jesus for such a time as this arise on healing wings, Son of Righteousness. You're my healing Jesus I found in you. You restore, you refresh, and you renew. You're my healing, Jesus, for such a time as this arise on healing wings, Son of Righteousness. Yes, amen. He's a great physician. There is no healer like it. He wants to heal in minds to mental illnesses. There are many people that are sick in their minds. They're just so sick. And Jesus, just let him minister healing. The splendor of a king Clothed in majesty Let all the earth rejoice Let all the earth rejoice wraps himself in light. Darkness tries to hide, and it trembles at his voice. It trembles at his voice. How great is our God? How great is our God? Sing with me how great. Stands. And 
time is in his hands, beginning and the end, beginning and the end. The Godhead three in one, Father, Spirit, Son, the Lion and the Lamb, the Lion and the Lamb. How great is our God, how great. Our God, sing with me how great is our God. All will see how great, how great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. You know, the other day I just had such an excruciating headache and my eyes were hurting. I was just in so much pain and I was just crying out to God and somebody prayed over me and laid hands on me. I said, pray for me. But the first part of their prayer, I was kind of all over the place. My mind was all over, distracted. Oh, I've already prayed a million times. It hasn't happened. Oh, you know, well, it's okay. I can put up with it. You know, all these thoughts. And all of a sudden, the Lord focused me on him and his face. And all I looked at in the spirit, I looked into his eyes. That's all I saw was his face. And all of a sudden, I felt power go right in the middle of my head, just straight through and stop about the middle. And hallelujah, when the prayer was done, no more headache, and I haven't had any headaches since. And that's a total miracle. I'm just elated. I just want to praise God. It's a bona fide miracle because I just was really suffering from headaches and I felt the power of God just go into my brain and I just want to praise the Lord for that. Um, 1 Corinthians 14 8 For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound who shall prepare himself to the battle? You know, back in the Old Testament, they blew the trumpet with force, with clarity. Hallelujah. And when the army heard it, they rushed forward because it was hand-to-hand -hand combat. But hallelujah, that trumpet was loud. It was clear. It gave clear direction what they should be doing. What if it was really soft and only half the army heard it, so half the army went out to battle, then the other half didn't go out to battle, right? And so then, hallelujah, then the enemy comes and only one half is prepared and the other isn't. That's the same way with the kingdom of God. We need to hear God's voice clearly. We're walking in confusion. We don't know what decision to make. Then we make a decision and the devil attacks us like we should have made the other decision. And then there's confusion and we don't have any joy. God wants you to hear his voice clearly. He wants you to follow him. I had a situation, I was like, well, show me this person's heart. Show me what's going on with them. And all of a sudden, I talked to them on the phone, and they happened to say something. It just like it slipped out. And I knew it was God showing me their heart. So 
as far as the Word of God is concerned. You need to know this Word. You need to know the doctrine that is in the Word of God because there are so many false doctrines. So praise God. When you preach, it needs to be the certain sound of the Word of God to bring people into the kingdom. When you tell people about Jesus, that they need to ask Jesus in their heart and they'll be forgiven from their sins. Don't be shy. Don't be bold. Excuse me. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. Be bold. When you invite people to church, be bold. And your boldness will bring them in. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 10, 24, let no man seek his own but every man another's wealth. What's he saying? Watch out for that person next to you. We're so concerned about ourselves and our own finances. You start being a giver. You start blessing others. You start helping people who are less fortunate. And God will bless you. Let no man seek his own, but every man another's wealth wealth. And then 1 Corinthians 9 26, I therefore so run not as uncertainly, so fight not as one that beats the air, right? We have a goal, we have a direction, we hear the clear sound of the trumpet, we know which way God is leading us, we're not wavering to and fro, we're not doubting Whatsoever is not of faith is sin, but we are moving forward in the name of Jesus. Paul says, I run not as uncertainly, so fight I not as one that beats the air. I'm fighting for a purpose. I'm preaching the word of God. I'm speaking what he tells me to speak. And God is going to bring the victory. God is going to bring the reward. Remember, your labor in the Lord is not in vain. God is going to bless the work that you are doing for him. He's going to bless your prayers. And he says, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. I keep under my body. I keep under my flesh. I die to the world and my own desires so that I can fully live to the Lord. I do what God wants me to do rather than what I want to do. So many Christians struggle with that. They want to exalt themselves. They want to exalt their flesh instead of exalting the name of the Lord. So he, Paul says, I keep my body under subjection. I keep the flesh under. I don't give in to sin and temptation. Why? Lest by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Have you ever seen anybody who preached to others and then they fell into sin? And hallelujah, maybe they made it to heaven. We don't know. But if you preach to others... You need to take care of your own life and your own family and make sure that you are not walking in sin, that you do not allow pride to come in when God lifts you up and exalts you and blesses you, that you every single day, Paul says, I die daily. We're going to die to the flesh. We're going to die to the world so that we can live fully to the things of God. And we say, even as Jesus said in the Garden of Gethsemane, not my will be done, but your will be done. So we want the will of the Father to be done in our lives. Amen. Praise the Lord. Are you going to bless us? You are beautiful beyond description. Too marvelous for words Too wonderful for comprehension Like nothing ever seen or heard Who can grasp your infinite wisdom Who can fathom the depths of your love Beyond description, Jesus, you're the majesty enthroned above, and I 
stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand in awe of you. Holy God, to whom all praise is due, I stand. of God our Father. Psalm 56, verse 1. Be merciful to me, O God, for man would swallow me up. He fighting daily oppresses me. The enemy tries to use people in your life. The enemy tries to use friends and family members and spouses. But hallelujah, the Lord is going to fight for you. The Lord is going to be with you, and the Lord is going to minister to you. Praise the Lord. I've just been informed that we have a call. Praise the Lord. Hello, you're live on the air. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hello. Oh, Can praise you hear me? Yes, yes, you're live on the air. Hi. Well, I just want to give a testimony of you know, your ministry and how, you know, it has just been such a blessing because there's, it sounds like you're <laughs> reading the pages of my life. I've gone through a lot of oppression by family members and spouses and children, of which I have four daughters, and I just get so oppressed sometimes. And coming to your meetings, Gemma, has just been like a ton of weight lifted off my shoulders. And it's just, you know, such a refreshing time in the spirit because you're so sensitive to his word and his spirit and you prophesy and speak encouraging words and bind the enemy and loose the Holy Spirit. And I just leave like a different human being with a refreshing and a reviving that only God's touch can give. And I just want to thank you for being his faithful servant and a prophetess of the most high God. Thank you for your ministry. Oh, praise God. Thank you so much for calling. I really appreciate it. God bless you. I'll be praying for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's just the enemy doesn't stop. He keeps attacking. But how are you going to respond to those attacks? Are you going to let the enemy win and you're going to lie down and fall down? No. God says, get up in my strength, in my supernatural power. When you have no more power in yourself, the power of God is going to take over and come through for you and do what you could not do. Psalm 56, 2. My enemies would daily swallow me up, for they be many that fight against me. O oh, you most high, hallelujah, hallelujah. The enemy fights against you. We're fighting the good fight of faith. There is a battle raging for your soul. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Praise God, hallelujah. In God... I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do to me. In God we put our trust. We're putting our faith in the Lord. We're not going to be afraid of what man can do. What is meant to come your way is going to come your way. And you don't have to worry. God's going to turn it around for your good. And you're going to see the supernatural healing power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. Every day they rest my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather themselves together. They hide themselves. They mark my steps when they wait for my soul. Shall they escape by iniquity? In your anger, cast down the people, O God. You tell my wanderings. You put my tears into your bottle. Are they not in your book? 
The Lord keeps every one of your tears in his bottle. Hallelujah. He values those tears. Those seeds of sorrow are going to come up as joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. He keeps your tears in that bottle. He remembers those prayers, and they come up before him as sweet incense. And as Tim plays, just cry out to God. Just release everything to the Lord. You've been completely overwhelmed because he has a plan, and he has a purpose for your life. Come unto the Holy of Holies Enter by the blood of the Lamb Come into His presence with singing Worship at the throne of God Come into the Holy of Holies Enter by the blood of the at the throne of God, lifting holy hands to the King of Kings. We were worthy to be praised. Praise God. And continuing with Psalms 56, hallelujah, verse 9, when I cry to you, then shall my enemies turn back. This I know, for God is for me. God is for you. He wants you to be blessed. He wants you to be prosperous. When you cry out to God, he's going to turn the darkness back. He's going to turn your enemies around. Those fiery darts are not going to be able to touch you, for God is for you. His plans for you are for good and not for evil, to give you a hope and a future and an expected end. Hallelujah. In God will I praise his word. In the Lord will I praise his word. In God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do to me. Hallelujah. We put our trust in God even during the hardest, most difficult times. Keep your faith strong. The Lord loves you so much, and your faith is going to be tested. But keep believing, keep serving, because as you stay on that straight and narrow path, and you don't get off because the devil's lying to you and saying, oh, that's the wrong path, you should have chosen this way, or 
or you thought you heard God's voice and now look what happened. Just stay on that path because God's going to turn that path around. God's going to bring that change. When Jesus led the disciples on the Sea of Galilee, it was calm and then all of a sudden a huge storm arose and they thought that they were drowning. But hallelujah, God was glorified in the storm and he calmed the sea and the waves. The Lord has you on that right path. He has you on that Sea of Galilee. It may have looked peaceful, but now it may be storming, but God is going to calm the wind and the storm and the waves. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have meetings every Monday night and Friday night at 7.30 p.m. at 1154 Roberto Lane, Los Angeles, California, 90077. If you need prayer, if you need a touch from the Lord, Tim's there every Friday. He plays and he ministers. He's such a blessing. That's every Monday and Friday. Do you get blessed by the meetings, Tim? Every, every Monday and Friday. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. God is so good. And then um, every Wednesday here on Cross TV, uh, 5.30 Pacific Standard Time. And next Wednesday, I'm going to have Susan Wales and her and her husband produce the Pink Panther series as well as the series Christy, Amazing Grace. And they've come out with a, a new movie, a Captive. Mm. So she's going to be my guest next Wednesday. So be sure to tune in next Wednesday, 530 on The Cross TV. Praise the Lord. God is so good. Visit me on my website, www.gemmawanger.com. And if you feel led, just tuck in a, a love gift, just a donation to bless this ministry. The TV show is international, worldwide. So God is expanding. God is increasing. So I just praise God for you, those who are blessing this ministry, those who are praying with us, those who are being changed, those who are being delivered. I love you so much. Jesus loves you so much. It's going to get better. It's going to be okay because God is going to move by his spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Tim, do you want to sing us out? Yeah. Let's just worship the Lord and thank him for what he's doing in our lives. Gemma Wanger, and you're watching Beauty for Ashes, and he's going to give you beauty for those ashes. Give him those ashes, because the beauty and the glory and the peace and the love and the joy is coming. I promise you, if you don't give up.